go. Good job. All right. Good. Hi, everyone. It's Kino here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this one hour practice. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position and gently bring your hands together. Close your eyes, a long deep inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Be aware of the quality of your breath. Notice your breath. Breath moving in. Breath moving out. Notice the feeling inside your body, how your body feels. Notice the quality of your mind and your emotions. Establishing that beginning point for our journey of practice together. And then a nice long deep inhale and as you exhale let's open the eyes we'll prepare to begin with arms out to a t-shape inhale arms out to a t-shape you know i like this one to warm up the shoulders so we'll hold it for five one really spread your shoulder blades away from each other two keep the arms super straight and activated three that looks good four Draw the navel in and prepare to lift the spine a little bit up out of the pelvis. Five, good job. Now let's go for the arm circles. Let's go forward, good. Little arm circles, not too vigorously, just enough to really kind of lubricate the joint and keep it nice and fluid. That looks really good. Okay, let's prepare to reverse directions and back, back. And I want you to really tap into that inner feeling of mobility, and strength inside the shoulder joint. Good job, and hold. Then flex your wrists, press the hands open, and spread your fingertips wide apart. Draw the navel in, and elevate the chest, and let's flip the hands down so you can point the fingers down. Now this is stretching your wrists a little bit. I know it's a little intense, but we're doing this to warm the wrists and the shoulders up. Press the fingertips down and push the heels of the hands up. Excellent work. Stay with the breath, nice and easy. Keep breathing, open the fingers, and exhale, drop it down. Good job. Shake out the shoulders. And then we're gonna prepare for a nice little side lean. So inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, lean it on over to the side, right hand down. We're releasing the QL while you extend the left arm over. Great, get that little sweep through the shoulder. Awesome. Draw the navel in, deep breaths, one. Lift up through the center line, two, keep breathing, three, nice and easy, stay with the breath, four, almost there, five, good job, inhale, come on back to the center, and exhale, prepare for the other side, inhale, long deep breath in, exhale, left hand over, now sweep the right shoulder, and reach. Good job. Release that right side QL. We hold for five. One. Tap into the breath. Tap into the body. Two. Steady breathing. Three. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Nice deep breaths. Four. We're almost there. Five. Inhale. Come on back into the center. Shake it out. You should feel a little bit of blood and circulation coming into the body. I'm going to put my hair up now. And let's prepare on the hands and knees. We're going to start off in tabletop position. Find your tabletop position. Nice and easy. Fingertips grip the floor. Rooting down through the heels of the hands. Hold for five. One. Let's push the shoulders a little forward so you can start to stretch your wrists lightly. Two, don't overdo it, just a nice light stretch. Three, stay with it. Four, almost there. And five, sink it back down, open the knees. We're going to stretch the wrists again. Flip your hands in the opposite direction. Squeeze the fingertips onto the ground, root down into the heels of the hands, and then lightly move back. And we'll hold for five. 
Good. It's looking good. One. Nice and easy. Two. You can move a little to the right side, move a little to the left side. So you can kind of almost like walk the wrists out. This can help them get more flexible. And then just settle into the center for the last two breaths. Draw the navel in. Almost there. Good. Bend the elbows. Give the wrists a little bit of a shake. Good. Hands on the ground. We'll roll through cat and cow. Inhale, extend. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, round. Gaze to the pubic bone. Inhale, extend. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, round. Gaze towards the pubic bone. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Now, back to neutral. Walk the knees a little bit back and puppy pose, hands together, forehead reaches towards the ground. Come on to the top of your tips of your fingertips. One, deep breaths. Draw the navel in. Two, nice and easy. Three, you can just gently sway your body a little bit from side to side so you can release through the shoulders around the armpits. Four, we're almost there. Five, good job. Walk your hands back. Inhale, back up to your tabletop position. Now we're going to come up to downward facing dog. So inhale, sending the hips back and up. We got downward facing dog. I'm going to bend the knees to relax the spine, straighten the legs, and we'll hold for five. One. Deep breaths. Widen through the shoulders. Shoulders move away from the spine. It's looking really good. Two. Steady, steady breathing. Three. Four. Almost there. Five. Good job. Let's sink the knees down. We're going to build it up to plank pose. So make sure you take time every single practice to build up a good plank. Tuck your tailbone a little. Move your shoulders forward. Let's step one leg back. Tuck the tail again. And you're going to fire up your front body to lift the body off the ground. Inhale. Let's pick it up. Squeeze your feet together. Squeeze the glutes. And gaze between the hands. Give me five breaths in plank. One. Two. Fire it up. Three. Enjoy it. Stay with it, deep breaths, four, don't give up. Stay with your breath, almost there. All right, let's go down, chaturanga. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing, roll the shoulders back, let's lift the chest up, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Five more breaths in our downward dog. One, navel is in, deep breaths. Two, slow your breath down, longer, deeper, fuller breaths. Three, four, almost there. Five, good job, let's do it again. Feet together, give me your plank pose. Hold plank again, let's fire up the shoulders. One, pitch it a little forward, two, Three, widen the shoulders, you got this, keep working, four, and five, exhale, chaturanga, whatever way works for you. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, come on back to downward facing. All right, downward facing, let's settle in. One, root down through the heels, open the shoulders. Lengthen the breath. Remember, if you need to bend the knees, feel welcome to do that at any time. Nice and easy. Don't force the body. Stay with your breath. Long, steady, deep breaths. Breath moves in, breath moves out. Draw the navel more and more in. Good. Walk half the distance in. We'll start off in our forward fold. Soft bend in the knees for a moment. Lay your arms over each other. Drop the head down. Inhale, send the hips back and up. Stay there, deep breaths. One, nice and easy. Release, relax the body. You can bend the knees and straighten the legs a few times. Feel not only your hamstrings, but your back muscles. 
Let it really release. Tap in to that inner sensibility. Drop your arms down. Then, Pranayamashtasana. Hold on to your big toes. Straighten the elbows. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Head down. Relax. Release the spine. We stay for five more breaths. One. Lean a little forward. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Relax the back muscles as you lean forward. Four. Open through the shoulders. Relax and release. Five. Good job. Inhale. Lift the head up, exhale there. Walk your hands forward. Let's walk the feet in towards each other. Squeeze the knees into each other. We have Utkatasana. We're going to come up to chair pose for five breaths. Inhale, extend the arms. You can press palms together or you can just work the elbows straight. But please, elbow straight. One, two. Keep working. Squeeze the knees. Lift the spine up out of the bowl of the pelvis. Three. Keep working, four, almost there, almost there, five, exhale, fold forward, go down, straight legs. Inhale, lift the head up and exhale, you can step or lightly hop back to plank and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, roll it on back to downward facing. We're going to step forward to warrior one. Turn the left foot out. Inhale, step right foot forward, sinking back into your left heel. Take a moment and feel the strength of your legs. Then inhale, raise the arms up. Five breaths. You can do it. One. Deep breathing. Two. It's okay if you breathe many more than five breaths as we stay here. Eventually, you want to really slow your breath down. Four, almost there, nice and easy. Five, exhale, take the hands down, spin the left foot forward. Inhale, back to plank. Find your plank, good job. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Now we prepare for the other side. Let's turn that right foot out. Inhale, left foot forward, sink into your legs, and squaring the pelvis, rise up with the hands. We got five breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two. Stay with your breath. Three. Keep working. Enjoy it, elbow straight. Your hands can be together or you can gaze straight ahead, but please keep the elbows straight. Focus on that rotation inside your shoulders. Four, almost there. How you doing? It's looking good. Five, exhale, take the hands down. Spin your right foot forward. Inhale, back to plank, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale. Downward facing. All right. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Exhale, sink left knee on the ground. Now keep the left toes curled under because we're going to work straight. Don't be mad at me, but your right quadricep is going to be on fire. All right, so inhale, come up. Give me hands to the waist. Stay for a moment. Lift the spine. Are you ready? That quadricep is going to come on fire. Okay. Now you're going to inhale and pick your body up off the ground. So inhale, come up. Good, try it. Excellent. Exhale, go down. Oh, now we feel it. That right quadricep, you're going to be okay. Give me three more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. Good, keep your gaze stable. Inhale, come up. Fire up that right leg. Exhale, go down. Ooh, last one. Inhale, come up. Fire up that right quadricep. Exhale, go down. Point the left toes. Inhale, raise the arms. One, lift and lean a little bit back, gentle back, two, nice and fiery, three, lifting, work but don't force, four, five, dangle your arms down, interlock your fingers, send the chest up and forward, one, start to use your back bends, two, yeah, good work, lift it up, three, four, almost there, Five, good job. Release your hands, take the hands on the ground, and inhale back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing. Roll the shoulders down the back as you lift the spine. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, prepare to switch the sides. Inhale, left foot forward. Right knee pops on the ground. Keep those toes curled under. Inhale, hands to the waist. Very good. All right, you're ready for the other side. Let's fire up the legs. Inhale, let's pick it up. Fire up that left quadriceps. You can do it. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, fire up the left quadriceps. Exhale, set it down. Three more. Inhale, fire it up. And exhale, come on down. Ooh, two more. Inhale, fire it up. And exhale, let's set it down. Last one. Inhale, fire it up. And exhale, set it down. Activate pelvic floor. Point the right toes. Inhale, lift your right arm, both arms up. And we stay. Five breaths. Really good. Keep working. Don't give up. One. You can do it. Reach, reach. Don't give up. Try. Three. Looks good. Four. Open the front of the right hip. Five. Good job. Dangle your arms behind you. Interlock your fingers. Lift the chest. One. It's looking good. Two. Stay with the deep breaths. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Five. Good job. Taking the hands on the ground. Curl the right toes under. Inhale. Back to plank. Find your plank. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale. Roll it on back to downward facing. Now we're going to go for an open twist. Inhale. Step your right foot forward, keeping the pelvis square. Left hand stays on the ground. Open twist. Extended side angle pose. Twist it and open. We stay for five. One. If this is easy for you and you want to put your hand on the outside of your right foot, feel welcome. Your choice. But really no stress. Three. Nice and easy. You can take hands in prayer as well. It's looking beautiful. Use your flexibility if you got it. Three. Stay with it. Four. Almost there. We're almost there. Nice and easy. Five. Exhale. Take your right hand on the ground. Slide it over to extended side angle pose. Extending left arm overhead. If it's too much to keep your hand flat on the ground, you can pop it all the way up to your forearm. We stay for five. One. Find what works for you. Two. Stay with the breath. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. And five. Press into your right leg and inhale. Warrior two. Gaze to the right fingers. One. Nice and easy. Two. I know your legs are burning. It's okay. Just lean into it. Three. Lean into it. Four. The legs are going to keep burning. Just keep working. Okay, reverse warrior. Dangle that left arm down or hold your thigh. And inhale. Easy side bend. One. Enjoy it. Two. Reach, reach. Three. Almost there. Four. And five. Square your pelvis forward. Take your hands on the ground. Walk that right foot a little bit back. All right, you ready? Inhale, straighten the right leg and lift the left leg off the ground. We got warrior three. You can keep your hands on the ground or fingertips or all the way off the ground. We stay for five. One. You can play around with different hand positions, hands in prayer, hands extended, or all the way in front. I'm going to stick with prayer. It's my favorite hand position. Three. <laughs> or back to the ground. <laughs> you got to love yourself in those moments you topple over. Four, just keep working, no stress, almost there, five, bend your right knee, exhale, sink the left foot down, and inhale, back to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, long, easy breath in, exhale, downward facing, we're going to switch the sides now, left foot comes forward, keeping your right hand down, inhale, open twist, or close your twist, if you want to go deeper, you can take the right hand on the outside of the left foot and extend the arm. Or this is a perfect place just to stay and breathe. One. Keep breathing. Two. Three. Lengthen and deepen the breath. Take a moment. Appreciate where you are. 
four, you don't have to be good at yoga to benefit from it. So just experience the moment. One more breath. Good job. Flip it on over to the other side. Coming on to your left hand, left fingers, left side angle. Good. Reach overhead with your right hand. Good job. You can come up on to your forearm if that works better for you. Five breaths. One. Deep breathing. Two. Nice and easy. Find what works for you. Three. Looking good. Four. Five. Slide it up to warrior two. Good job. One. Work your legs. They're working hard. Enjoy it. Two. Three. Stay with the deep breaths. Four. Almost there. Good. Reverse warrior. Layer that right hand under and inhale, extend. One. Good. Just reach back. A gentle side stretch. Don't overdo it. Three. Keep breathing. Four. It's looking good. Stay with it. Five. All right. Exhale. Turn your pelvis forward. Walk the left foot a little bit back. Inhale. Straighten the left leg and lift that back right leg. Warrior three. Gyasana. You can stay here with your hands on the ground or you can come up if it works for today. One. Two, deep breaths, three, stay with it, four, almost there, five, take your hands on the ground, exhale, step it back to plank, find your plank, are you sweating, enjoy the sweat, and exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in, exhale, downward facing, push it on back, downward dog. Nice, long, deep breath in, long, deep breath out. Now, three-legged dog, point your right foot, inhale, lift the right leg. Very good. One. Two, keep lifting, lifting. Three, stay with the deep breaths. Four, almost there. Five, let's sink that right leg down, then inhale, left leg back and up. One, stay with the deep breaths. Two, feel those little beads of sweat rolling down the body, enjoy it. Be thankful for the opportunity to sweat, to breathe, to feel the body, to be alive in this moment. Almost there, five, exhale, let's set it down. All right, let's try something real hard. Walk forward, feet together. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Ready for the challenge? We're gonna try a standing split. Ooh, this is hard. So we're gonna walk your hands a little bit forward. Point that right foot back and then forward fold as you lift your right leg up. Now you don't have to reach very high, so you can just go back to your warrior three position or if you feel it, you can really lift. Now push into your left foot, drop the head. We breathe for five, one. Super engaged, both legs. Two, three, almost there. Four, don't overdo it, keep the legs engaged. Five, exhale, down, forward fold. Try the other side. Walk your hands a little forward, inhale, lift left leg back. Once you feel it, then pivot more down and explore lifting that leg up. Good, and you notice that it's actually your right leg which is working super hard, so super engage the legs, one. Don't overdo it. Keep the arms strong. Two, three, almost there. Feel those little beads of sweat rolling off the body. Enjoy it. Four, and five. Exhale, bring that leg down. Forward fold, go down. Inhale, send the chest forward, hands down. Exhale, come on, back to plank. All the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, roll it on, back to downward facing. Good, you're gonna step either left or right foot forward, up to you, how you wanna position yourself on your mat. Wide leg forward bends, coming up onto your fingertips. Feel that sweat running through the body, I got it on my nose. <laughs> Enjoy that for a moment, deep breaths, fingers together. Exhale there, and inhale, lift your right arm up. One, 
You can be on the fingertips, on a block, or you can have your hand flat. It's up to you. Two. Three. Nice and easy. Keep breathing. Four. Almost there. Enjoy it. Five. Exhale. Take the right hand down. Switch. Left arm comes up. Good. Stay for five. One. Keep breathing. Two. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Five. Exhale. Take the hands down. Now, you're going to lean over to the right side. So bend your right knee, straighten the left. We're going to lean on over and then exhale. Sink your hips down. Okay. Hold it here for a moment, folding the right knee up. We're gonna do Parigasana or the open gate pose. We have two positions that your knee could be in. You can keep the knee up like this or you can fold the knee forward and down. If your internal rotation is quite good, this position is gonna be accessible. If not, no problem, keep your knee up. I'm gonna let you decide what works better for you. All right, so take the left hand on the ground in whichever version you're working. Inhale, lift the right arm over. So this is our most accessible version of the posture here. And now listen to your body. See if your body tells you that there's more to give. If so, we can lean, lean, lean over to the side and hold on with both hands to the left foot as you look up. And the same version of the posture is accessible if you're bending the knee and reaching down. Up to you, find what works. One. Good. One is not better than the other. Just kind of explore what feels right for you for today. Two. Deep breaths. Three. Enjoy it for a moment. Four. Almost there. Five. Good job. Inhale. Come all the way back up. Exhale here. Curl your toes back under. And then inhale. Switch the sides all the way over. Sinking that left hip down. So remember, don't overdo it. If you're already feeling like your knee is a little stressed, you're going to keep that knee up and not put it on the ground. Right hand on the ground. Inhale, reach. This is our most accessible version of this asana. If you want to go deeper, you can slide it on over. Both hands hold on to the right foot. If you feel that you want to roll that left knee onto the ground, then go ahead and try. But remember in your yoga practice, there's no competition. There's no prize for how deeply you go into the asana. There's just the peace that you bring with you out of the practice. All right, stay with it. We got like three more breaths. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Let's do it again. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. One more. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Good, inhale. Come all the way up and exhale. Great. Bring that left leg open, cross your feet, and let's bring it on, back to plank. Exhale, chanaraka. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing, push it on back. We're gonna come back to seated. You can step or jump forward, and exhale, sit down. Straighten the legs, dandasana position, flex your feet. Lift the center of the chest up. Fingertips or hand flat on the ground. Chin down. One. Deep breaths. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Stay with the breath. Four. Almost there. Five. Good job. Let's pivot forward inside of the hip joints. Reach down. Hands to your shin bones, hands to your big toes. If you need to bend the knees a little to hold your big toes, that's all right. Inhale, let's prepare. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your back muscles, deep breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Three. 
Stay with it, deep breaths. Four, almost there. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Good. Inhale, straighten the arms. We're gonna go a little deeper. Hold on to your feet, the outsides of the feet, around the top of the feet, as you like. Hold your wrists if you want. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale again, fold. One, drop the head down, deep breaths. Two, steady breathing, nice and easy. Three, stay with your breath. Four, almost there, keep working, keep working, don't give up. Five, good job, inhale, straighten the arms, exhale here, grab your yoga blocks, hopefully they're not too far away. And now let's prepare to work our L-sit. I feel like we haven't done L-sits in a little while and I've been missing them. Okay, so hands onto the blocks. You're gonna flex the feet. We're gonna do three. First one, we just see what's possible. Slowly come forward and now you're gonna think head down, shoulders forward, hips back and up. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale down. <laughs> How'd it go? Cross your feet for a moment. Good job. Relax, you can relax the hip flexors. Straighten again. Now we just again try. If your feet are on the ground, it's okay. Just try to drag them back with you. Pitch your shoulders forward, engage your core, and then inhale, hips back and up. Just give it a shot. Exhale, put it down. All righty, relax for a moment. You know what's next. We're gonna hold for five breaths. Prepare yourself mentally as well as physically, and let's have fun. So if your body's shaking and your thighs are burning, Try to smile and be grateful for the opportunity to build strength. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's probably gonna burn. <laughs> Shoulders forward, don't be afraid of the fire. Enjoy it. Shoulders back. All right, here we go. Inhale, let's pick it up. One, squeeze. Two, lift your body with your pelvis, with the body. Three, four, your thighs are burning, it's okay. Four, and five, exhale, go down. Ooh, bend the knees, thank your thighs. Oh, good work, good work, good my thighs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Walk those blocks forward, and then cross your feet. Step on back to plank on the blocks, make sure they're well aligned. And then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, we stay up on the blocks, give your back a little space. Exhale, downward facing, stay on the blocks. Walk your feet together, come on forward. Then your right knee pops up into the chest. Good, one, two, hold it, three, four, step it back, left side, one, two, stay, three, four, step it back, right side on the outside of the shoulder, one, good job, two, three, four, step it back, left side, outside of the shoulder, one, two, Three, four, step it back. Right side on the inside of the left elbow, twist it. One, this is hard. Two, just do the best you can. Three, four, step it back. Left side, twist it. One, good job. Two, near the right elbow. Three, internal obliques, fire it up. Four, step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Come on back and down. All right, cross your feet since we're on the blocks. Hold yourself up on the blocks. Find your L sit and exhale. Come on back down. Move your blocks on over to the side for a moment. And bend the right knee, Marichasana A. Hold on to the right knee. Take your left hand down. Fold your chest forward. And if it's accessible for you, can bind your hands. Otherwise, you can just fold a little bit forward and down. Good job, that looks good. If you got your hands bound, take your chest center to the left knee and fold. Good job. One. Deep breaths. And remember, you can just be up holding the knee, it's all good. Three. Four. Try to slide your chest as far down on the inside of your thigh as possible. Almost there, keep breathing. Looks good. Four. 
Make sure your right hip is off the ground as you lean a little forward. Looks really good. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. Let's go for one more breath. Very good. Inhale, slowly rise up, release your bind, and then we're gonna pick that right foot off the ground, and you're gonna find your calf muscle and try to place it on your shoulder. Taking the right hand on the ground, bend your right elbow a little bit and see if you can activate that right leg so it stays up by itself. Oh, that looks so good. Make sure that your right hand is far away, not like super far, but far away from your pubic bone, a little bit outside of the pelvis. Now, since we did so well with the L-sit, we're gonna try the elephant trunk posture, which is like half an L-sit. Keep that right leg activated, and are you ready? We're gonna try to lift up from here. Inhale, lift it up. One, come on, you can do it, try, hips back. Two, just try, push into the arms, hips back. Three, four, and five, exhale, come on down. Release your foot, cross the feet. Inhale, back to plank, come on plank. Exhale, chaturanga, nice and easy. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. All right, let's come on forward again, cross, cross. And you're welcome to jump through if you like, all the way there. We have the left side, good job. Bend the left knee. Slide the chest forward, long deep breath in. Exhale, fold, binding the hands and forward folding or just working your forward fold. We stay for some long deep breaths here. One, two, just try to work your chest down. If you're binding the hands, relax your shoulders as much as possible and continue the work of the forward fold. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. If you're not binding, it's okay. Just really work the forward fold, it's all good. Make sure your left hip is off the ground. Feel your body, don't force. Long deep breaths, nice and easy. Steady breathing. One more breath. Good, inhale, let's come all the way up. Release your bind, sinking the hip on the ground. Lift your left foot up, grab the foot, grab the calf muscle, place it on your shoulder. Okay, good. Bending the left elbow, moving it out to the side. Then, hands are quite wide, wider than shoulder width apart. All right, straighten your right leg, make sure that left leg is balanced, then pitching your shoulders forward, then inhale, let's pick it up. Stabilize shoulders, one, two, hips, forward, hips back, chest forward. Three, four, and five. Exhale down. Good job. Cross the feet. Inhale, pick it up. And exhale, let's find our way back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, whatever way is working for you. Shoulders down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now, we're going to try something that I hope you'll think is fun, but it might be a little challenging. If your arm balances are a little challenged, you're gonna grab your two yoga blocks. I'm gonna make it just a tad easier. So you can do your plank. We can all try in the blocks for the first one. Grab your yoga blocks, set them up, and then inhale as you step your right foot around like you're gonna come into extended side angle pose. Reach the shoulder under, lifting right leg off the ground, and then balance. See if you can find your balance. This is extremely hard, but on the blocks, you get a little more space. Hold for about two breaths, sink left foot down, inhale back to plank. All right, that was really hard. Don't worry, that was kind of really hard, but hopefully fun. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, deep breath. Exhale, downward facing, come on back. We're gonna try the other side. It'll be harder or easier, but remember, don't judge yourself, just try. Left side, step the left foot forward, as far forward as you can. Wiggle your shoulder under, then start off by extending left leg. You could stay there or bend your elbows and right back leg comes off the ground. One, two, if you're wondering what this posture is called, some people refer to it as Ekapada Kandiyasana, named after one of the great sages of India's past. And exhale, right leg down. All right, that was good. <laughs> Come on, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing. 
Downward facing. Good job. Over on the blocks, we're going to throw in a little L-sit. So cross the feet, back to seated. And exhale, come on down. Move your blocks over to the side. We're not done yet, but I hope you enjoyed that little challenge posture. It's always good to have at least one asana, one pose where you feel like it's a complete impossibility. It's good for the ego, <laughs> and it's good for the practice. Bend the right knee up into your chest, cross it over. If this is easy for you, you can bend the left knee under, or you can keep that left leg extended. You decide, all right? The left knee doesn't want to bend, keep it activated and straight. If it wants to bend, fold it under and place both sitting bones on the ground. Good. Hug the right knee into your chest. Inhale, lift. Twist over to the right side. If it's easy for you, you can drop your left shoulder and hold on to the right foot. If that's hard, just hold the knee. I like holding the knee. I think it's a wonderful way to work the twist. Look over your right shoulder. Five breaths. One. Slow your breath down. Two. Stay with it. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Three. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Four. Almost there. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Five. Good job. Come on back to the center. Fold the right knee under or, or around, right foot around. We've got Gomukhasana, this cow facing posture. Hold on to your feet for a moment. Lift the center of the chest up. Stay for a few breaths. Long deep breath in, find your pelvic floor. As you exhale, ground into the base of the pelvis. Then, right arm comes up, left threads underneath. Lean forward and up as you gently squeeze the elbows towards each other. Close the eyes or gaze to your thumbs. One, two, deep breaths. Three, lean forward. Four, almost there, deep breathing. Five, exhale, slowly down. Lean back, cross your feet, pick it up and find your way back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, rolling shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, downward facing. Prepare to come through, cross the feet, slide through or sit down. And we prepare for the other side. Bend left knee, cross it over. Keeping your right leg straight, stay for a moment. If that feels comfortable for you, you can bend your right knee under, settling your sitting bones down, drawing the navel in. Hug the left knee into the chest, and then exhale, easy twist. Stay with it, deep breaths. Nice and easy. One, point your right toes, stabilize your pelvis, lift your spine. If you want to deepen the posture, you're welcome to bind your knee or your foot, or again, you can just hold the knee. Stabilize, no competition, no force, don't overdo it. Steady breathing, nice and easy. Stay with the breath, enjoy the moment. Almost there. Good, inhale, come on back to the center. Fold that left knee on top, left foot back, stabilize for a moment, holding on to your feet. Settle your sitting bones down. That looks good. So we're now in Gomukhasana, easy version where you've got your both sitting bones on the ground. Then lean your chest a little bit forward, take your left arm, right threads under to mirror the leg position. And then inhale, lift your hands a little bit up. You can take weight out of the sitting bones and then forward and up. One, gaze towards the thumbs. Two, steady breaths. Three, nice and easy. Four, almost there. Draw the navel in and lift up. Five, exhale down. Now, we're not going to jump back for this one. Did you think I forgot about Navasana? No, I would never forget Navasana. Inhale, Navasana. You can take the legs up. You can bend the knees. You find it. We stay for five. One. Two, just work your core. Three, four, almost there. Straighten the legs as much as possible. Now, change your grip. 
hold on to your ankles or hold on to your big toes and straighten the legs. This is Ubaya Pranagrasthasana. Use the strength of your body to hold it up. One. Looks good. Good job. Two. Just work as deeply as is possible for you for today. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Okay, you ready? Keep your legs straight. Point the feet. Release your hands and just keep the hands hovering above the toes or as close to above the toes as possible. Good, we stay for five. This is like crazy Navasana. One, you got it. Two, stay with it. Three, lifting, lifting, lifting. Four, and five. Now cross your feet. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, roll it on. Back to downward facing. From downward facing, sink the knees down. Exhale, drop the elbows to the ground. Interlock your fingers. We're gonna work headstand position, okay? Top of the head is what goes on the ground, but it's your shoulders that really wanna hold you up. So press into the elbows. If you're not comfortable doing headstand, dolphin pose is a wonderful variation, but let's really try to work our headstand. Elbows press into the ground, top of the head, Points down, then inhale, straighten the legs, walk in. Okay, let's work the prepare. We'll stay for five. One, press your elbows into the ground, widen shoulders. Two, three, steady, steady. Four, almost there. Now let's try to use that standing split flexibility to come up into headstand. Take one leg up and just keep reaching up but not over, up into your center line until you can bend that right knee up into your chest. And we'll just hold it here. If you didn't make it, that's all right. Just hold that left leg up. We'll stay nice and easy, keep breathing. Remember, if you didn't make it, just stay there with one foot on the ground and one leg up. After a few breaths, you can switch your legs. The other leg can come up. Maybe that leg is easier. Maybe you can come a little bit off the ground. If it's comfortable for you, you can bring your both legs together for five breaths. One. If it's scary, please keep one foot on the ground. It's still a headstand. It's in the shoulders though. Stay with it. Three. Keep working. Four. Nice and easy. Find what works. All right, let's prepare to come slowly down. See if you can bend both knees into your chest walking the feet down. Exhale, feet down, knees down. Child's pose. Let's do a full child's pose. Change your hands. And we'll stay here five breaths. Long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Nice and easy. Start to slow your breath down. Long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Two more here. Really enter the inner body. Long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Last one. Long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Very good. Inhale, let's lift the head up. Walk it a little bit in, cross the feet, and we're gonna to come to seated. From a seated position, stay here, find the breath. Cross your feet, any comfortable position works for now. Feel your breath and your body coming into unity. Open the palms, press the tips of the thumbs and the index fingers in together and lift the chest. Five deep breaths, long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Again, long deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Again, long deep breath in. And out. 
Last one. Feel the breath rising up the spine. And exhale. Now we're going to do a little alternate nostril breathing. Close off your right nostril and inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Last one. Inhale, right, left. Exhale, right. Now we switch the sides. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Last one. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Release your nose, inhale. Exhale. One more, long deep breath in. And exhale. Release your hands, soften the spine. Bend the knees, roll the spine gently down. Constructed rest position for a moment. Feel your sacrum nestling onto the ground, freeing the neck. Relax the shoulders. Close the eyes. Nice and easy. Feel your breath and your body just gently coming into balance. Keeping the mind quiet calm and inwardly focused. Stretch the arms and legs out and let's close the eyes and take rest, take rest, take rest. Keep the attention focused on the inner body, being aware of the subtle vibrations throughout the body. Feel the space underneath the skin in the inner body that quiet vibration within, infinitely inward. Feel the space around the body, infinitely outward. Let the essence, the spiritual essence that is you, shine through in all the sensations and all your inner awareness. Feel the breath trailing into more and more subtlety. Feel the mind and the emotions relaxing, releasing, moving into peace, coherence, and harmony. In 
enjoy that quiet space of sanctuary and bring your attention gently to the heart center. Feel the body at the level of the heart. Gently plant the seeds of metta. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May my body be healthy, filled with energy. May I live in peace with myself. And may I live in peace with all beings. May I live in harmony with myself. May I live in harmony with all beings. For a moment now, feel your connection infinitely outward in a quiet space that is both sanctuary and prayer. Feel your connection to all beings, every sentient being, human and non-human, every particle of energy, every plant, the wind, the clouds, the earth, the stars, the moon, the universe. Feel the presence of the power behind the universe that illuminates and gives life to all things in unity, in harmony, and in peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be filled with love. May the entire universe vibrate in harmony, in peace, and in love. Slowly allow yourself a deeper breath. And as you exhale, move your fingers and toes, your hands and feet, bend the knees and the elbows. As you exhale, hug the knees into the chest and thank yourself, thank your body for the beautiful experience of practice, for this wonderful gift of being here, incarnate on earth. Then roll around to your side. Let's come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed for a moment. Hands at the heart center. Feel the presence of love. The presence of light. The presence of peace and joy within you. Emanating outward. Infinitely inward restoring balance, coherence, and harmony in your life and in your world. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, May be filled with love. Namaste.